So we got a call for a truck that has gone off the road up above the Hurricane Fault. Um, it actually went off the road yesterday or the day before yesterday. I don't know. Um, this call came in yesterday, though. I do know that. We had to bump until today. We've got a couple more jobs we've got to get to today. So this is just the first one. It is the weekend, so we have the weekend crew. Hi. Hi. We got Colin and Rhett here. We're going to get the weather report from Colin. It's partially cloudy, 47 degrees. Not too bad. So some of you sharp reviewers noticed that we are not in the Morver or the Banana or Blue Steel. We are actually in the Freightliner. It is just beautiful out there today. Right there. Oh, wow. Whoa. That truck's on a boulder. She's a little stuck. Yeah. How was that? Coming off of there. Yeah, I just caught the shoulder, loose gravel. That's how you know you're wrecked. Yeah. That's how you know you're done good. Oh yeah, that's a... Can't go up because the tree's on top of it. Can't come out because that don't want that rock to do any more damage. Can't go forward. Can't go backwards. What I think I'm gonna do is get set up right here and pick up and come over and pick up and come over to see if we can get the back end set completely off the rock. And then we'll pull it back up on. We'll see if that works. Really under there. She's rolling the rock with it. Is it looking good? It's up on top. It's underneath the axle. It's gonna. Okay. Do some damage to the dry line if you keep going, probably. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we have an option. able to reposition and just totally pick that up get it up over the rock that tore that tree in half Well, you're only on the frame now. Okay, that's good. Okay, put it in park. Well, we are completely off the rock. Okay, turn your wheel to the left. There's only one thing that stands in our way from getting this truck up on the bed, and that's this gigantic rock that's right under the middle. We're going to attempt to get that pulled out now. We've got the truck secured to the bed of the truck with a chain, so not only is it in park, so me and Colin are going to yeah. try to connect this. Pull it through. We're gonna have to shorten this up somehow. 
What if you put it up higher on the tree? Maybe. There you go. You know what'll work? Get in the truck and turn the wheel hard that way. Let's just see what happens. Well, that was a good one. That was a little, a little tricky to get out of there. All right, we got it loaded up. We're gonna be taking it to the customer's house now and dropping it off. And then we are headed up to Cedar Mountain to do a snow recovery. It took a little bit longer than expected, but we got them out. Tom's gonna meet us at the yard and we're gonna go get that done. Well, as promised, we got a call for, I think it's a truck is stuck up here on Cedar Mountain near Navajo Lake. Got that other job done. We picked up Tom Tom. Also as promised, what's the weather? It is cold and windy and snowing a little bit and we've got a lot of elevation to climb so it's gonna get worse. Okay, we've been here before where we went up on the mountain against our better judgment and it kinda knocked us around a little bit. That's a possibility again today. We're gonna go up on that mountain up there. You're the adult here, tell us. <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. But we're pretty committed to it at this point. Yeah, we're gonna go see if we can do it. We're in blue steel, we're towing the more of air. We got Colin and Rhett back there in white lightning, pulling the banana. So we've got four vehicles that we have to get stuck this time before we're stranded. Four strikes and you're out. As suspected, the conditions have deteriorated. <laughs> we're up here on Cedar Mountain and it's storming pretty it's, good. It's getting pretty crazy right now. It's about 26 degrees, windy out there. It's crazy. It's cold, it's cold. really cold. I should know better than, you should know better than this. I should. So we're just taking it easy. There's not a lot of snow coming down. I don't feel like the accumulation's gonna happen over a short period of time. I think we're not gonna come back down this way. We're gonna go down through uh, the sands. We are still climbing. Still climbing. We haven't slipped off the road yet. A little snowier. We were just probably about two weeks ago pulling lots of vehicles up off that road. And now we're going up higher on the mountain to pull people off of roads like that. Oh, he's, please don't stop. Full stop. If you wonder why guys like us that do what we do for a living exist, it's because of guys like that. Not just guys like that, but that's one of the type. He should turn around and go back, just like we should turn around and go back, but we're not gonna do it. Okay, so just like the little engine that could, we made it to the top of the hill. Oh, was that the top? All yeah, right. pretty much level ground. Tom still doesn't know very much about this area because he's a transplant. And it's just all white. Yeah, you got company back there? Yeah, everybody's following. Okay. It's so beautiful out there. What did you say, Colin? Just dangerous. Nah, it's beautiful. You can't really see very far, but it's beautiful. Don't touch them brakes. Don't tap them. Don't tap them. No? Just no? run it out? Yeah, just make sure you're... What gear are you in? Fourth. Yeah, that's a pretty good gear. 
Yeah, just let it run. He's doing pretty good. Not too bad for an Idaho guy. What are the road conditions? Worsening. <laughs> Snow's getting deeper. The road's completely covered. Okay, we're probably 15 minutes out from getting to the vehicle, or at least the turnoff for the vehicle. There's a lot of vehicles on the mountain here. These guys are slowing down and just running flashers. Colin's back and they're doing good. Like I said, he's a really good driver. This is still good for him. This is stretching him a little bit. We're taking it nice and easy. How cold? It's 19 degrees out there. Weather update, it's 19 degrees. So Tom's got his heater turned up to 75. I've got mine on 65 blowing nice cool air on me. I'm getting ready to go out there, go to work. And I don't want to start out overheated. But down there is Navajo Lake. You can't see it because it's foggy. We're about to turn onto the Navajo Lake Road. Um, there's where we'll be staging, unloading, and hopefully we can get down to this truck and get it out. Why no Bombi? Why are we why are we taking these vehicles? It's not deep enough yet. No? No. Alright. Navajo Lake right there. This is us. Yep, so it's turn bit, turn in here. What's the story? How'd they get in there? Um, two nights ago he was down there and he went to turn around but there's people stuck in the middle of the road. He pulled them out and then when he went to back up to turn around he slid in the ditch and couldn't get out. So you've already been in here trying to get it out? Yeah, we were here, up here uh, yesterday all day in this truck. This doesn't have a thermostat in it. Okay, we're going to look for them. We don't know where they're at. Customers are in the other car. We're just going to drive. Well, it smells pretty deep here. Somebody stuck here. Looks like it. Okay, what do we have? Well, let's get this guy out first. How you guys doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we asked that guy for help, but he said you guys were on right way. down the way. Yeah. Matt's gonna pull up here and uh, hook strap on you, and I think spin you out and get you pulled in That'd if that's awesome. good with you guys. Okay. So what's the story? How, what happened? Just backed up and slid into the. <laughs> Just turning around right here. You want a good yeah. story? We're from St. George. So, there you go. <laughs> so, so, this isn't something you do every day? No. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this up here and then we're going to go back down and get the next one and Colin's going to pull them up to the road. So you're basically just gonna be in drive, but not giving it any gas. We want that rope to stay tight. Do not run over that rope. Okay, you're good to go. Thank we'll see you later. Can. Yeah, for sure. So we got those guys up to the car park, and now we're headed back down to find my dad. All right, so that's Number one, we're in near whiteout conditions. Yeah, snow is getting deep. What do you think? Would the Bombi have cruised through this? Oh yeah, this is, we should have brought the Bombi. <laughs> yes, we know the Bombi still needs a lot of love and we want to do a full rebuild on it, but we're totally committed to finishing the record. So the Bombi might have to wait till next year and just limp through for a little while longer. It still works. Like it doesn't have like big problems. Little problems that we're going to live with. How far down here is this guy? Know. There's still tracks coming down here. If you get off the main tracks, you're in trouble. Yeah, I can get deep fast. Yeah. I think that's him. Now, snow wheeling is something that I don't have a lot of experience with. I know that we're probably getting close to what conditions the Morver is willing to deal with. Like, we're close. We're close to the limit. Check this thing out. He's buried in here good. Oh, 
I'm up to my knees right now in snow. The drifts are deep. Okay, Colin, you wanna get the keys? Dump in this and get that, get it warmed up. I think we're gonna do kinetic energy pulls. I think we're gonna pull it out frontwards this way and just see, see how it's doing. This is why you need a soft shackle. Okay, four low. Uh, that's as far as I can go. Okay, put it in reverse. Try turning while spinning slightly. Turn. Stop. Okay, put it in drive. More gentle on the throttle and turn to the right. Okay, stop. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a tiny bump on it. I want you in reverse, turning right. All right, we're gonna give it a little bit more this time. And we're just gonna to try to get you popped up on the road. Colin, can you back that up? I don't know if it's worth trying to turn it around. I don't know where we're gonna have to go to. There's that there's a pull-off back there. That's a long way down there. Okay, let me let me try something real quick. We still gotta turn this vehicle around somehow, so Matt's gonna try something. I don't know what that means. Such a sharp angle here. The frame's tucked up really high, so there's nothing I can get to below there. I could grab the loose thing right here if this wheel doesn't didn't yeah. spin, and we could just drag it over a little bit. Should we try that? It might suck in the road, but I'm not gonna have them drive. Oh, just spin it, okay? Okay, Paul, oh, go back to the there. That thing has gas system on it. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Slowly. Go. Yeah. Okay, stop. Back up. Go medium rare. Beautiful. Back up. Okay, stop. What's that doing? It's right. It looks good. Okay. Hit it a little harder. Well, okay, hit it softer and see if it'll keep driving. Well, hit it a little harder than that.
see if you can get that turned around. Keep going. Woo. We're gonna have Colin go turn the banana around and hook to this because he's already in the right position and we'll follow out. All right, so we get a lot of questions about why we don't put diesels in our rig, even the heavy wrecker. Like, why? The heavy wrecker is so big, it needs a diesel. The problem we're having is there's so much torque that we can't control in this truck right now. It's really hard to get the throttle control perfect. And you can't tell what it's doing because di diesels effort effortlessly make torque. Like, they're not, they don't sound like they're working, they're just making the torque. And so you can't tell what's happening in situations like this and it makes them extremely difficult to drive. So that's one of the reasons. And it's, it's true in sand and even rock crawling, especially with an automatic transmission. With a manual transmission, you do have some control back, but you'll never get the RPM range. You're going to have to shift because you're all, you know, you're all in below 4,000 RPM. The banana's putting in some work. It takes a lot of guts to drive a truck like this down a road like this, I'll tell you that much. I've done it. <laughs> Colin's doing a pretty good job. He's keeping up a good pace. Seems to be maintaining control of the vehicle. Oh man, we're already here. Yeah, we did it. We got out of here. There you go, boss. Sweet. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Woo, it's cold. You guys heading back to Cedar? Yep. Yeah. All right. That's safe. Awesome. Yeah. You guys too. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, look, a snow plow. Uh -huh. ah. So that wasn't too bad. We decided to use the kinetic energy ropes because that truck was so heavy and it was so stuck in there. I needed to be able to put a little bit more energy into it than I think the more Baron the Banana could have. I don't think they would have had enough grip to stay on the road. We wouldn't have been pulling from an optimal angle. So that worked out, I feel like it worked out really good. We got them spun around, took a second to figure out exactly how we were gonna do that. But once we figured it out, it went really slick and uh, they're on their way. No damage to the vehicle, no damage to our vehicles. So I think it's a win yet. No damage to our vehicles yet. We've still got to drive through this for the rest of the day for the rest of the day. We also got a little bonus recovery, so that was nice. Helped out another family that was up here on a drive. So unless something happens between here and home, I think we're just gonna sign out. Cool. Thanks for watching. Another one. Two friendly honks. It's a very friendly area. We love you guys. Each and every one of you. Couldn't do this without you. <laughs>